Why won't Juris do anything? How can you ignore, ignore all those people that need his help? Because he doesn't think to send soldiers. A few villages destroyed won't affect the great well-being of the country. It's not fair. They don't deserve this. He has to do something to help us uh, stop the spores. He doesn't have to do anything. He's king. He can do whatever he wants. Too small. Must be from last year. I'll have it disposed of after we meet with King Juris. He's all about the bigger picture. If you want something changed, you have to do it yourself. Weren't you listening last night? Well? It fits. That's good, but your hair is anything but desirable. Nothing like Maddox is. He's so vain. Do you do this kind of thing for him too? Getting him ready for seeing the king? Oh no. He never let me touch him. We don't exactly get along, as you can tell. But you on the other hand, well, you're a bit of a mess at times. Hey. <laughs> there. At least you look somewhat Spores in the castle. Wait, what? We have to get to the throne room to protect Jerks. Yeah. How do they get past the barrier? No, no, you're not. Where's Maddox? You will not defy me! For the Fire King is a witch for death! Maddox, where are you?
after all that he's dead. Coda, I I think I want to be alone right now. I'm not used to people dying right in front of me. And it makes me feel sick. I'll be here when you need me. Good night, my friends. It's all right. My friends now wish to be disturbed this evening in light of current events. I'll take these and give them to him in the morning. You go to your chambers and rest. All will be well. this that girl she has seen me and knows who you are medics what is your next move there would be no point in going after her reflex don't believe in things such as you or even i sire they would think her mad and throw her into what they call a mental institution sarah what's wrong What? What? Where was she? Oh, why was she out there? Um, I, I know she was with Grayson. She was here around five. Uh, Grayson said she left. I just assumed she went through the window like she always does. heart attack while he was driving and hit her on Wimpole Street. Are they dead? Sweetie. Please, I need to know. Mr. Hawthorne is. Plus he's in a coma and won't wake up. I am so sorry, honey. Grayson, wake up. We did it. The kingdom will be so much better off thanks to you. Are you ready to go home now? That girl. She is it. What is your next move? There would be no point in going after her. Worry not, Grayson. I'll never see her reflection move without you for the rest of your days. Goodbye, Grayson. I thank you for your cooperation. those clothes and burn them. Anything else, my friends? Yes. Call for guard Coda. Grayson, what's wrong? Oh. It's here on a first name basis with them now, are you? Medics! When did you get here? Not too long ago. I just came back from the reflect world. What did you think of my counterpart? Idiotic, isn't he? Still, he did what I wanted him to, more or less. How did Juris' spy react? Did she cry? 
This was your plan all along. You used him to do all this. Uh, you wouldn't want to hurt your pretty little boyfriend now, would you? What? Oh, yes, that's right. You didn't know. Grayson and I, as well as all flips and their counterparts, are connected. One gets hurt, the other receives a similar injury. One dies, and well... <sighs> yes, it is rather frightening, isn't it? Come along now. I have a council meeting to go to, so you'll be attending as well. Option B is I burn your family's farm to the ground and sell them to slavery. Good girl. That mean that medics is our next king? Absolutely not. At least we hope not. Hey, did you see what happened to Juris? No. Stand there. Don't say anything. Ah, good girl. Now watch. Hello, generals. I am your new king. Impossible. Juris was killed by a spore, not you. And who was it who killed the spore? Hmm? You. God. Come out of the shadows. Come, come. Tell the council what they wish to know. Who was it that slayed the spore that murdered King Juris? You did, my prince. Well then, very good. Kill the guards, replace them. But not this one. She's mine. Let's see. Which one of you is actually foolish enough to try and oppose me right now? Fred. You're out of your mind! What will become of our country when the spores invade? This is a disaster in the making! Adorable. Anyone else? You sure? Good. Now then, as my second order is king, I demand that Juris' spy be executed for crimes against my rule. Bring her immediately. This castle needs redecorating. I think gold are much too tacky. Have the embroidery team be brought in and do them again, only this time in silver and blue. Royal blue, that's very important. In fact, wake them up now so that we can get a head start on the job. Also, I will need a bride by the end of the week. Have the matchmaker find all the fairest maidens in the land and bring them to me. Maidens, not over the age of 25, understood? Is anyone writing this down? It's vital to my rule as king being success. You can't do this! Letting the spores into our country will destroy our population. There won't be anybody left to do anything. The whole country will fall into chaos. And won't that simply be splendid? Oh, good. The deed will be done here. Seal the exits. Just a moment. Those Saturday reservations are now... Cancelled. Hey, Grayson? It, it's Lizzie. Look, I know I've been a jerk to you about Juliet these past few weeks, and I'm sorry. I just didn't want you to get stuck in a relationship that you'd end up regretting. I know I should just let you make your own decision, but I can't help worrying. You're my best friend, Grayson. You always have been. So, I've decided to just leave you to it. I won't bother you about Julia ever again. Heck, maybe I'm wrong she's actually a cool person. I just don't want to lose you. I hope you can forgive me for what happened today. And that we can still be friends. Mom? Because I love you, Grayson. What's wrong? Mom? I love you with all my heart. I'll see you later. Bye.